thousand more is twenty-five thousand. Three is twenty-eight. And two is thirty. Now, the state's offering thirty thousand dollars for the cat of the kid dead or alive. Now we don't have to fight the law because they're the ones to pay off. This is easiest money I run up again. Now, Billy's a smooth customer. He shot his way out of a lot of traps, and we won't give him a chance. He's got to come by way of Coldwater Canyon, and we'll be waiting for him. So. I don't usually mix into what don't concern me, but well, them that does don't live long. But this time I feel I should. So I'm warning you not to go on through the canyon. Why? When you stop deep back there in town, you were recognized by some folks who figure on cashing in on the price Arizona's put on your head. Now, how come you're tipping us off? Yeah, how come? There's two reasons. First, I don't believe you're as bad as you're painted. And second, I thought maybe you could help me. In what way? I came across the Arizona line to pick up some riders. Hey, look. I can get you out of this if you'll follow me. Go ahead. Never mind me. The border's a couple hundred yards ahead. Fuzz, give me those bandages out of my saddlebags. Well, it looks like we let $30,000 get away from us. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Well, come on. Can't move him, Fuzz. He's hurt pretty bad. Well, that'll mean going back to town for a doctor. No, too dangerous for you to do that. The danger didn't stop you from warning us. Get me on a horse. I can make it. I'll go on back to town and get a duck. You keep him quiet. Get back as fast as I can. The man's life depends on your being there. It doesn't worry me very much. The sheriff should be notified of the shooting. I haven't got time for that. Afraid he'll recognize you? What do you think? I think he might, Billy.
riding and get across the border. Hey, what does he mean, keep on riding? We just ran into those fellas that tried to waylay us. Give a little of their own medicine. That'd only mean more bloodshed. If you're not here, I can handle them. I hate to run out in your duck. I know you don't. But I know what's best. Now vamos and make it quick. I guess we better do as he says, Fuzz. You're the boss. Doc, thank him for us when he comes through, will you? You bet. Now get out. Come on, Fuzz. I'm a telling you, we're jumping out of the frying pan into the fire, riding over in these parts. Ah, uh, take it easy, Fuzz. It's the only way we're gonna help Dawson for what he did for us. Oh, I ain't complaining, but my Adam's apple's getting the jumps. Ah, uh, take it easy, Fuzz. Nobody will be looking for us with a cow outfit. Maybe that's the reason Dawson can't get any men to ride for him. Then we better ride over and see if we can find out who was shot at. He's gone. Don't reach for your guns. So, you killed another one of our men. You're afraid to give a man a chance, aren't you? Well, I'm not going to give you a chance either. I'm going to kill you as I would a rattlesnake. You're worse than a rattler. A rattler warns, at least. Oh, now, now lady, wait a second. When it comes your turn, it makes a difference, doesn't it? Well, I'm... Keep your hand away from your holster. Uh, oh. I wasn't going to reach for no gun, ma'am. You see, we were riding down a trail, and we heard some gunshots, and then you found this fella. Keep your hands in the air, both of you. And turn around. Hey, uh, good-looking little gal. She's pretty tough. <laughs> Don't let her fool you, Fuzz. She isn't as tough as she pretends. I hope not. Turn around now. Are you convinced now that we didn't shoot your man? Maybe you're all right, and maybe not. Oh, why? We wouldn't harm a fly, ma'am. Who are you, where are you going, and why? I, 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 I'm, I'm uh, Fuzzy Q. Jones. I'll do the talking, Fuzz. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. You do better than I can anyhow. Eh? We come from Arizona. Got enough of the country down there and more than enough of the people. Thought we'd come to New Mexico and see if we can't find a new job somewhere. Then you're not Billy the Kid? Uh, What'd you say, ma'am? I said Billy the Kid. You've heard of him, haven't you? Oh, oh yes. Sure, sure. Of course we've heard of him. I said we came from Arizona, didn't I? It's his home range. It's rumored down there he's headed south, across the border into Mexico. We've been led to believe that he's a hired gunman for the Coulter outfit. So that's it. You took me for this Billy the Kid and thought I killed your man for pay, huh? Yes. There's a war on between the Circle X and the Double Box. I'm Mary Dawson. My dad, Sam Dawson, owns the Circle X. You've got a brother by the name of Ed? Yes. Do you know him? We've met him. That's why we're here. After I've cooled down and talked to you, I don't believe you are the killer type. <laughs> then you don't mind giving our guns back? Of course not. Thanks. I'll ride back to the house and tell them about this killing. They'll send out a wagon. Mind if we ride along with you, ma'am? Well, if you do, you'll be considered taking sides. Trouble doesn't worry us any. Uh, worries just get you more worries. <laughs> Come along, then. Oh, uh, just a minute. You'd better reload your gun. Mighty careful girl. Hmm. Yeah. Fuzz, pick up that extra horse and let's go. Well, that's Slim's horse they're bringing in. Somebody killed Slim from ambush, Brandon. We can't stand much more of that kind of stuff. Where's Dad? He's up at the house. These two men have signed on for the drive. Take Slim's horse and put it in the corral. And if you know what's good for you, you'll take yours and hightail it out of here. 
And that goes for all of you. I uh, thought this outfit needed riders. Well, any man that'll sign with a Dawson drive is a fool. We sign, mister. We don't like being called fools. And you heard him. Yeah, but you don't know what you're running into. Suppose you tell us. Well, Slim is the fourth man that's been killed since we started the Circle X Roundup. How many more are going to get it on the trail with this herd, I don't know. But I do know I won't be one of them. As soon as the going gets tough, you quit, huh? Exactly. Have you any objections? No objections at all. That's your privilege. If you want to quit, you quit. But you leave Dawson's men out of this. All right, boys. I'm going with Coulter. He'll pay us twice as much as you're getting here. You coming with me? I don't like that kind of talk, mister. You stay out of this. It's none of your affair. I'm making it my affair because I don't like the way you do business. Maybe uh, there's something else you don't like about me. Yeah. I don't like your face. Well, now that you mention it, Fuzz, it could stand improving. <laughs> you think you can do anything about it? Uh, let me see. Uh, Oh, that front view is very bad. Listen, you get this monkey out of here, I'll tear him to bits. Now, let me have a look at that profile. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> oh, you hold still. Now, let me see. Yeah. Seems to be a hopeless case. But I think with a little working over, it could be improved. Would you like to try it? Yeah. <laughs> Watch him, Fuzz. Uh, Billy, you tell him. Uh, Brandon there was trying to get your riders to quit. Yeah, we thought it'd be better to lose one man than all of them. Yeah. Yeah. He said he was going over to work for a fellow by the name of Colter, whoever he is. Colter? He's a cattle buyer over at Cold Springs. Brandon running out on us leaves us with our trail boss for the cattle drive. Well, maybe Ed'll be back. I don't think he will, Mr. Dawson. Well, he knows we have to make a delivery date. Do you know where we can reach him? Yes, ma'am. Where? Well, I knew you'd worry about him, so I wasn't going to say anything. What do you mean? Well, he's been in a shooting scrape across the border. Is he all right? Yes, ma'am, but he's wounded. Doc Arnold over in Tonto's taking care of him. He'd be laid up a couple of weeks. You're sure of that? Oh, uh, there ain't nothing to worry about, ma'am. How did it happen? Well, well, he was helping Fuzzy and I out of a jam. Yeah, and to sort of repay him, why, we thought we'd ride over here and... You know anything about handling cattle on a drive? Handling cattle on a drive? Why, he drove a herd of cattle from across the state of Texas into Dodge City. <laughs> he even gained weight on the trail. <laughs> You're exaggerating a little bit there, Fuzz. Uh, no, I ain't tell it. Well, I need a trail boss. Do you want the job? Uh, sure we do. We'd like to help you out, Mr. Dawson. Well, it's going to be a tough grind. We're short-handed. We'll do the best we can, won't we, fellas? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, right. All right, you'd better get some rest. We start at sunup in the morning. Come on, Fuzz, let's water our horses. I can't help wishing your brother was hitting this drive. So do I, Dad. But under the circumstances, we're lucky.
nice bunch of cattle you're sending to market, Mr. Dawson. None better in the state. Uh, uh, we're putting a lot of trust in you, Mr. Mr. Uh... Bonnie, Bill Bonnie. Hey, we never let a friend down yet, do we, Billy? <laughs> Not if we could help it, Fred. You both look good to me. Well, goodbye and good luck to you. So long. Come Bye, on. Fred. Brandon will never take the beating and humiliation those fellas handed him without trying to get even. Oh, they seem perfectly able to take care of themselves. Round up the men and get ready to ride while I go in and see Colter. All right. I'm sorry I can't make it more, Darby, but this is the best I can do. He you realized you're taking a chance and never finding these cattle. I'll see you before you leave town. We picked up the Dalton herd about 35 miles down the trail. Good. Are they shorthanded? I'll say they are. Well, this is one time it pays me to have you on the inside, Brandon. Listen, we'll stampede them early in the morning. You'll run wild after a good night's rest. It'll be up to you, Elkins, to see that we get a clear title to the Circle X brand. I haven't failed yet, have I? Dawson or his trail boss will be in to recover what they can. Well, this time it's important, because when I come out in the open as owner of the double box, there's going to be a lot of wailing. Oh. And I want to be in the clear as far as these brands is concerned. <laughs> With Dawson broke, you'll control practically all the cattle in the territory, won't you? Well, there still be some little fellas to take care of, but the hard work will be over. Be sure you do a good job this time. Listen, we'll scatter that herd from one end of New Mexico to the other. It'll take us a month to pick them up. See you later. Wait a minute. Tell the boys to be sure where they're shooting at. They almost hit me when they run off that Darby bunch. <laughs> you know it's hard to tell who a man is when the cattle get running. again. But you before the week's over, some ranch will be in town taking what he can get from Colter, like we did. Maybe some of these days they'll meet up with somebody not like us. They haven't got enough men to stop them once we get them running. Well, that ought to be easy. We'll hit them from both sides and the rear. That way we'll split the herd wide open. I'll wait here with my men till you and Turner get in position. Right. Take care of them over there. Fuss, go on.
All right, you talk, mister, and talk fast. I just heard the shooting and the cattle running come over to see what it was about. You mean you didn't help stampede them? No. And what made you run for it? Well, I found myself being shot at, and I tried to get away. Uh, there ain't no rounding up them cattle. They're scattered over nine counties. I, uh, oh, you got one of them raiders, eh? Yeah. You got me all wrong. I'll match you to see who finishes him. I wasn't with them raiders. My name's Elkins. I worked for a cattle buyer by the name of Colder. Colder? Yeah, I was going to make you an offer for the herd and save you a trip into the rail junction. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a little too late for that now. Well, maybe you can uh, sell us what's left. Uh, take a month of Sundays to gather in them cattle. Now, wait a minute, uh, Fudge. Wouldn't hurt to listen to Colder's proposition. Let's get our horses. Dan Kelly. Glad to meet you. How do you do? Hey, what brings you here? Oh, we had a little trouble. Uh, Billy and me were driving a herd of cattle through. Wait a minute. Don't tell me. You're driving a herd through? Not on that trail you had your crew shot up. And your cattle stampeded? That's right. And Elkins showed up and told you about selling what was left to Colter? That's exactly what happened. Jensen and me had the same deal pulled on us. And there were plenty of others. Sounds interesting. I want to talk to you two after we're through inside. We'll be waiting. Stick around. From the Dawson outfit? Yeah. Saw you had trouble. How large was the herd? 1,500 head. Yeah, all prime stock, too. Too bad Elkins didn't get in touch with you a couple of days ago. Well, if he had, we'd have saved Dawson's cattle for him. I didn't know they were shipping this late in the season. You're supposed to know that's what you're paid for. Could you make a deal for Dawson? No, but I can take him whatever offer you make. Tell him I'll set my crew to work and round up whatever we can of his herd. How long do you think it'll take, and how many head do you think you'll get back? Oh, that's hard to say. Probably take a month, and we'll be lucky if we get three or four hundred. What are you willing to pay? Oh, say thirty dollars a head. <laughs> the market price is sixty. That's right. But how do I know I won't run the same risk as you did? For the rustlers working in this section, I'll be taking the same chance as Dawson did. If you run the same risk as Dawson did, I'll be surprised. And so will you. This looks like a cut and dried proposition. What do you think? Stampede and 1,500 head of cattle to buy 300 at a half price doesn't make sense. There's something bigger behind this, and I'm going to find out what it is. You're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. Maybe not. But I'll know the answer when I get Dawson's cattle back. And remember, what he says he means, too. Come on, Fuzz. Where can we go to talk where nobody will hear us? Get your horses and follow us. Quite a few of us in town that have lost our cattle to Colder. Well, haven't you tried to get the goods on him? Yeah, but we haven't been able to prove anything. His tracks are covered too good. I think there's one way we can beat him in his own game. How? You know the men that Colder has working for him? Yeah, some of them. Well, we'll organize a trail patrol. When there's a herd coming through, we'll know it and we'll see that they get through. Well, Jensen and me will go out and round up every man that's been hurt by Colder. That's fine. Now, Fuzzy here will help you. What happens to you? I got to go and let Dawson know his herd's been lost. Check me when you see me, Fred. Well, isn't that Billy? Yes. 
You didn't expect him back this soon, did you? No. You're back early. Yes, I ran into some trouble, Mr. Dawson. What kind of trouble? Did the riders quit? No, sir, the herd was stampeded on it. Being short-handed, we didn't have a chance to stop them. Are you sure you tried? I don't understand, Miss Mary. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. Did you try to stop the stampede? Of course. We did everything possible. When it was too late to do any good, why, I ran into some other cattle outfits that had been through the same section that ran into the same trouble. Well, knowing that I'm not alone in this doesn't make me feel any better. You know Dad counted on the money from those cattle. Certainly. That's why I'm going back to Cold Springs. I'm not through yet. Sure you're going back to spend the money. Mary, what are you saying? I found this tax on the corral fence this morning. He's Billy the Kid, all right. There's no doubt about it. I've never denied that, Mr. Dawson. You didn't have to use your guns this time. Oh, no. We gave you everything. I'll regret it as long as I live that I didn't shoot you when I had the opportunity. Now, oh, wait a minute, both of you. Quarreling isn't going to do any good. Mary, somehow I can't help but think you're wrong. How can I be wrong? He's Billy the Kid, isn't he? Yes, but even if what you think is so, why did he come back to tell us about the stampede? I don't know, and I don't care. I'm sorry she feels that way about it, Mr. Dawson. Well, naturally, she's a bit upset, and as a matter of fact, so am I. You know, I think Cold is behind all this. I'm going back to town and see if I'm right. Well, with the law hot after you, it's not much you can do. Yeah, we've taken the law into our own hands. We've made up a trail patrol. The boys are out working now. I'll see you later. down through those trees, the same as they did with us. We'll have to get around in front of them. Yeah. You guys, I, I wish Billy was here, but he ain't. I reckon it's up to me. Come on. Like we did before, then I'll go to work. Your job's pretty easy, ain't it? Now, the minute we spot Kohler's men riding, we'll cut in between them and the herd. All right, get going.
Darn a beef that Cora won't get. Yeah, that's <laughs> just the beginning. Keep walking. There's two guns trained on you. One false move and we'll fill you full of lead. Turn in here. You'll find the door open. The idea of the gunplay, Coulter. You're horning in on a private game, mister. I'm only returning the compliment. You did the same thing to me when you stampeded Dawson's cattle. Before you're found in an alley full of lead, I want to know who you are and what you're after. It's the same as I talked to you the last time. Dawson's heard. For yourself or don't? Oh. Stop those guns. Do as he says. Now throw them on the table. No hard feelings, Coulter. But I couldn't let you kill me. And I don't want to kill you. Not just yet. Your face looks mighty familiar to me. It's going to be a lot more familiar before I'm through. And I've seen you someplace. That's possible. I'm pretty much on the jump all the time. Who are you? What difference does that make? I got it. You're Billy the Kid. So? Things are beginning to clear up. In what way? If I'd have known you were after the Dawson beef, I'd have made a deal with you. Well, there's still time to do that. Oh, I'd cut you in right now, but I can't. When you started making trouble for us, I shipped every steer with a Circle X brand over the border. Yeah. <laughs> How do I know you're not stolen? I'm after big game. It'll pay you to throw in with me instead of fighting me. That might be arranged, Coulter, after we settle this Dawson matter. I still got money coming to me on that deal. Well, I won't have the cash till the stage gets in tomorrow. Are you sure that you'll have it then? There's no doubt about it. And this... this big deal that you're talking about, what's that'll, that? That'll come later. All right, I'll drop in tomorrow sometime. You stay here and cover me. I don't like this. Neither do I. It's the only way to get Dawson's money back. Stay where you are, miss. You won't get hurt. Stop that gun, mister. You have an express shipment for Colter over in Cold Springs, haven't you? Hand it over. I'm sorry if I frightened you, ma'am. You didn't. That's good. I hope I'm around the day they catch you and hang you. Take the lady into town. Get up. Billy the Kid and Buddy Jr. 
Mary Dawson was on that stage. Uh, did she recognize you? I don't think so. Come on. held up down the road a ways. Kohler had a shipment coming in on this stage, didn't he? That's what he was after and got. Did you recognize anyone? No, it was a one-man job. He had his face covered. I can tell you who it was. It was Billy the Kid. Are you sure of that lady? I'm positive. I saw Fuzzy from the side to meet him when we pulled away. How come you know him? They started from the Circle X over in Tonto with a herd of cattle and claimed they lost him around here someplace. I heard something about that. Who are you, lady? I'm Mary Dawson. My dad owns the Circle X. Oh, I see. I'm looking for this man Coulter you mentioned. Where can I find him? We work for him. I'll ride back to town with you. It's a good idea. I'll try and pick up the kid's trail. All right. Get going and hustle them along. Get up! According to Miss Dawson, Billy the Kid held up the stage and made off with your money. And after agreeing to a split, the Kid played me for a sucker. That sounds as though you and he were working together. Well, that's what I thought. But now I know I was wrong. I can see I made a mistake coming here to see you. I wonder if the Kid's on the level about delivering the Circle X beef to the rail junction. You mean he wasn't lying about the herd being stampeded? No, he wasn't. He upset my plan and I upset his. What do you mean he wasn't lying? He rode over to Tonto and told Dad and me what happened. I didn't believe him then, but I do now. I know he took your money to return to Dad. If she's right, he'll be looking for her here in town. Well, he won't find her because Turner's taking her out the ranch. Why take a chance like that? With her in our hands, it won't make any difference whether or not the kid gives the money to Dawson. Why won't it? Because Sam Dawson will be glad to give us a clear title to the Circle X to get her back. And what do you think will happen to you then? When we combine your place with a double box near the ranches we own, we'll be the law. You mean you own the double box? I've always owned it. Take her out the back way. I'll help you out of town with her. I'll be out later to get her to write a letter explaining things. Are you hot up Mary? Tell her to get that money in the bank right away. Why don't we both hunt up, Miss Mary? You take his money back to Mr. Dawson and call it a day. And that's cold to get away with what he's doing? No, Fuzz, we're in this thing and we're going to see it through. Oh, I got that feeling I get in my stomach when there's trouble in the air. Yeah, you're just imagining things. Uh, maybe so, but I still got that feeling. Oh, forget that... it, Fuzz, forget it. Oh, all right, I always have to carry things Finally got around to dropping in, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I usually try to keep my word. Somehow I didn't think you would this time. Well, there was no sense in dropping around until the stage got in. You're a smart kid, but not smart enough. Oh. So the girl recognized me, huh? Yeah. And she was foolish enough to come in and tell me about it. What's the what's the next move, Colter? Seeing that I have the girl and you. I want that money you lifted from the stage. Yeah. Hold it, Kip. Take his gun. See if he's got the money on him.
Okay, fine. Come on. Don't let him get away. I'm trying to get one of those men. You keep going. Kid's horse, but the kid ain't riding him. He's got elk. Trail them and find out where they take Elkins. I have to see Kohler. The kid outsmarted us. He got away and took Elkins with him. Are you sure? Yes, but I got Brandon trailing them to find out where they take him. If they're able to break him down and make him talk before we get to Circle X, we're through. I don't think they'll be able to. We can't take any chances. You want me to handle it? Can you? Sure. As soon as Brandon reports, I'll manage to get to wherever he is. After that, it'll be easy. I can't right now. There's too many around. They're going to hang me if I don't tell them where Mary Dawson is. Just keep your nerve and everything will be all right. Here, take this gun and put it out of sight. I have a horse waiting for you up among the rocks. I'll be watching from there. The next time they come in, I'll fire a couple of shots to attract their attention. That'll give you a chance to use the gun and make a break. I knew you and Kohler wouldn't let me down. I got to beat it now. Be ready when you hear the shots.
Everything's set. The kid's headed for the shack. It's your last chance, Elkins. Either you talk... I wonder where he got that gun. I'm wondering more about how he missed it at such close range. The damn thing seems to be all right. Well, what do you know? Every one of them is blanks. You're right, Puss. Let me see. Whoever gave you that gun, Elkins, didn't want you to have a chance. Yeah, they framed you, figuring you'd tell us where Mary Dawson is. They're holding the Kohler's house in the valley. There's nothing more we can do for him. I reckon that. Didn't I hear a couple of shots down yes, there? Yes, I'll tell you about it later. Right now we're heading for Kohler's ranch. They're holding Mary Dawson there. Come on. Elkins is taken care of. Good. Now all we have to do is to get this letter into Dawson's hands. Sign that. You expect me to sign this? Well, what do you think I wrote it for? I'm going to write that letter once more, and you'll sign it if you know what's good for you. Surprise. Split up and hit them from all sides. Now, what are you going to do? I'm going to try to get into the house and locate Mary before the fireworks start. For the last time, are you going to sign this? And for the last time, no. Keep him busy. I'll try to get around behind him.
All right, up with him. 